And I want to talk about perhaps one of your biggest markets, which is the United States. And we run the numbers here at, at Bloomberg Intelligence, and they seem to be worrisome. You say you're 25 years there. Give me your take. We have this room supply growing in the United States above the longer term average. And, and I just wonder, do you, do you assume that you're going to have pricing pressure going forward in terms of uh, the rev par uh, going forward, given this kind of growth momentum that we're seeing in the number of rooms? Sure, yeah. The entire industry saw a general softening in the second quarter, and that had a lot to do with the shift of Easter and also with some headwinds from the oil markets. And additionally, we are doing some new renovations for some of our Holiday Express hotels, about 300 in the U.S., so that had a bit of headwinds overall. But what you're seeing, I think, is a great, great growth in the U.S. business and the global business overall. So bit of softness in the U.S., but we saw rev pars in Europe up 6.5% nearly. Strong performance in China, where we saw our rev pars at 4%, but our revenues up 10% and our profits up 15%. So in a business like ours that operates in over 100 countries around the world, it's our global rev par that we're very focused on, about 2.1% and how that flows through to profits. Now, the great story about our industry, though, is about the supply growth and how that drives long-term value for our shareholders. So we're signing a hotel a day, opening up five hotels a day. That's up nearly 30 percent year over year. And those hotels range across all of our brands, from a 650-room Holiday Inn Express in Waikiki in Hawaii to a, a 900-room intercont intercontinental in Los Angeles, which is the tallest building west of the Mississippi, to great resorts in Asia like the Hotel, uh, Hotel Indigo in Bali. And recently, we brought our Kimpton Hotel and Restaurant brand to Europe with the opening of the DeWitt in Amsterdam. So we're growing our portfolio around the world and continuing to look how our existing brands can grow and also accelerating by launching new brands.